day two and we are just leaving the Pen Creek campsite. We had a great time here last night and uh, it's a really large campsite right on the water so it was really great to be able to fill our water bottles and I'm going to spin around here quick to show you the ladies. The Blister Sisters are on the roll and uh, yeah I think it's 8.20 we're leaving a couple minutes before schedule but we're planning on doing 14 miles today and we'll see how it goes. We found more mud. So we're just leaving the Pen Creek campsite and uh, I'm rocking the seal skins and zen saws today. Um, and Pam's got some waterproof socks on too. But we are, yeah, I would say the trail yesterday we all decided it was about 30% like this mud. Um, the rest of the trail is pretty dry, but yeah, so I have heard of the mud on the SHT and everything people say is true. Well, except for shin deep mud, I've never seen that. But, uh, but over the shoe mud, pretty common on this section and we're just uh, slugging through it. Whew. All right, we still got a lot of mud to go. Go to the bathroom. More mud! We just climbed up a really big hill and now we're overlooking I don't know what this is. Beaver Bay? Yeah. And the aspens are turning green. The pine trees. And Lake Superior looks lovely as usual. Oh. How's everybody feeling? Good. Good? Good. Good? Ah, we just came off of an overlook and now we're in kind of a little piney section. It's cloudy today. Probably feels, I don't know, I'm guessing 10 degrees cooler than yesterday, which feels nice. It feels like a nice fall day. And uh, we're gonna have lunch pretty soon. Well, we're getting ready to stop for lunch at the Beaver River. This trail has been very rooty and rocky, as you would expect on the SHT. We just, I, hopefully we just encountered the last of the serious mud, but uh, this section of the trail is very beautiful. So again, we're going into the Beaver River and um, temperatures are nice and cool. And uh, the cool of the river feels really good after hiking all morning. We're really enjoying that. I'm just gonna come over here and show you the river. You can see through here. Look at that. Gorgeous. I think those are grouse. Can you hear them? I have no idea where we are. <laughs> We're trying to get to Chapin's Ridge tonight. I think if I had to guess, we probably have about five more miles to go. We're trying to get there by dinner. It'll be a 14 mile day today. So, we're trying to pick up the pace a little bit, but the weather's nice, it's sunny. Ooh, this looks exciting.
Ta-da! Okay. So I don't know where we are. I think we're getting close to Fault Line okay. campsite, but there's a big beaver dam. And I'm heading to this bridge. I think that's what we would call this is the bridge. Still rocking my waterproof socks. And woo, we got a floater. All right, made it. There's another dam. There's beavers everywhere! Yep. Go BSU! That is fault line because here's the um, template. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Okay, I'm gonna. Does any there. Oh, this would be a good place to get water. <sighs> All the trees are starting to get their buds and their leaves making this section of the trail so much more magical and beautiful. My first time hiking on the SHT in the spring and it definitely has its own beauty. Look at all those trees without their leaves and wide open woods and it's just beautiful today. We just passed the beaver pond campsite and there is the beaver dam. And look how different everything looks. Look at the grass and dogwood and beautiful. Beautiful, we should be to camp soon. Thank you, SHT volunteers, for putting chicken wire on this. <laughs> this looks like it would be very slippery without this chicken wire, so thank you. Thank you.